The first step of the process is to open the call. And what I think a lot of salespeople do is they open the call and they say something like this. How are you doing today? Is this a good or bad time to talk? Are you busy right now? Do you have a minute to talk? And my advice is to not say any of these. One of the most common ones is a salesperson will ask, how are you doing today? And they do this to try to be nice and manufacture a little rapport. And, and the reality is, is that if you go back to the core concepts that we were we talked talked about in chapter two, prospects are busy. So the minute you start to ask them how they're doing, and this is a cold prospect, so they don't know who you are, you don't know them, it's really an empty gesture and you're already beginning to waste their time because they might say, I'm doing good, how are you doing? And then this just feels like a waste of time with someone you don't even know. Let's just scratch that. You sound, it makes you sound like a salesperson. I don't like to ask, is this a good or bad time to talk? Because we know that the prospects are busy. So we don't want to ask if they're busy or if this is a good or bad time. I do want you to confirm availability and I'm going to show you how to do that next. And the last one is don't ask if they have a minute to talk because technically you want more than a minute. Following this process, you want two to five minutes. If you want to ask for the exact amount of time, you would say, do you have a, a few minutes to talk? This is the way I recommend you open the call, which is, hello, Michael, this is Mark calling from company XYZ. Have I caught you in the middle of anything? So replace any of what I just showed you with, have I caught you? in the middle of anything. And what that will do is that confirms that they're available. It does not confirm that they're not busy. We know they're busy. So we don't want to ask if they're busy. And we don't want to do is we don't want to power through if they're dealing with a fire. Believe it or not, sometimes people answer the phone when there's chaos going on for some reason. So we want to just confirm that there's not because we don't want to move forward and try to have our cold call interaction if it's a horrible time. The other thing is, is that we want to show that we understand them and that we respect them and respect their time. So I think it's really great to ask, have I caught you in the middle of anything? The other thing thing about this is test it out and leave a comment on this video how this tactic goes because we hear from all the time from our clients how much they love just this simple question because it gets people to open up. Have I caught you in the middle of anything? Is something similar to what a coworker would ask another coworker when they're peeping their head in their office to chat about the weekend or to ask them what they're doing for lunch? It's very friendly, very casual. And you may say, well, I want to ask how they're doing. I'm a professional salesperson and I want to be the utmost professional. Well, that logic is great, but the reality is, is that your prospects are getting sold to a lot. And if you try to act professional and treat them in a professional manner, you're going to trigger guardedness. And when you do the exact opposite, which right here is act more informal, casual, and friendly, not to say that you trigger a lot of friendliness, but you don't trigger that instant guard and actually just test it out because it's really interesting how people drop their guard when you ask, have I caught you in the middle of anything? When you ask a few other things this does real quick is that this will show you that you respect their time. And the other thing that when you ask this question, it actually buys you two to five minutes. So when they say I'm not in the middle of anything, when you don't confirm that they're not available, you will feel this sort of anxiousness, like you're trying to accomplish a lot on the cold call and you don't know how much time you're going to get. When you confirm that they're available, you've just bought yourself the two to five minute window that you need to operate in to proceed with this process. And that can actually make you feel more comfortable and allow you to proceed forward with this process. The next step in the process is to share the purpose of the call. There's a couple different directions that you can go after you ask, have I caught you in the middle of anything? So if they say anything in the vicinity of yet, yeah, so you say, hey, have I caught you in the middle of anything? They're only going to say variations of three different things. So one option is they're going to say, yes, I can talk. And that might look like, yes, but I'm okay. No, I'm fine. And or I'm not in the middle of anything. That's one scenario. The other scenario is that they're going to say, no, I'm I'm in the middle of something or no, I'm busy. And the third scenario is, is that they're going to say, well, it depends. Why are you calling? Or it depends what you're calling about. Or they'll say, well, what is this call in regards to? So those are the three scenarios. When you say, have I caught you in the middle of anything? Either it's a green light to move forward. It's a red light saying they're not available. Or it's a yellow light 
light saying, well, it depends. What is this in regards to? If you get a green or yellow light, you go to the same place. And the same place is the sharing the purpose of the call because if they're good and free, you go to the purpose of the call. If they say, what is this in regards to? Then the answer to that question is the purpose of the call. The only time that you go in a different direction is when you get the red light, which is they say, I'm not available. I'm busy. Yes, I'm in the middle of anything. When you do that, when you run into that, then you basically deflect back. And so we, we're going to have a whole training module on objection handling. So we'll talk about this objection and all the others that you might run into. But the response when you get that is, oh, okay, oh, I can be really brief or I can call you back at another time, which do you prefer? Or you can say, oh, okay, well, uh, what's the best time to, to call you back? Most likely you'll get a green or yellow light or you'll get a red light. And that's what you do there. Let's just say that you get a green or yellow light. And so then you proceed to the purpose of the call. And let's look at what that looks like. Thank you.